Ray says the two men were riding in a Ranger bass boat when it flipped Thursday afternoon. 70-year-old Thomas Brumbaugh of Ohio was killed. 67-year-old Gerald Jean of Spring City was injured. Now, he is expected to be okay. Officials say both men were not wearing life jackets. As WRA is investigating the accident. A Tennessee woman has been charged in a hit and run crash that killed a 13 year old boy. The accident happened Thursday afternoon on I-24 near Smyrna. Police say Clifton Branwalder was on the side of the road changing a flat tire on his mother's car. That's when 33 year old Tina Wilson lost control of her vehicle, crossed over the center lane and hit the boy and his mom who was standing in front of the car. They were both taken to the hospital where Branwalder was pronounced dead. His mother's condition is unknown. Wilson fled the scene but was arrested a short time later at a nearby business park. Funeral services have been set now for the voice of Neyland Stadium, Bobby Denton. The funeral will be held Monday at 7 p.m. at Cedar Springs Presbyterian Church. The Denton family is also asking everyone who has a UT home flag to fly it Monday in honor of Bobby. He passed away Wednesday at the age of 73 after a battle with cancer. Cumberland County deputies are searching for the thieves who stole more than $3,000 worth of equipment from a local youth sports club. The burglary happened at Fairfield Glade Sportsman Club in Cumberland County sometime Sunday night. Investigators say the thieves ransacked a safe where eight rifles were stored. One of those rifles was supposed to be used for an upcoming fundraiser. They also stole a case of ammunition along with a bank bag containing nearly $500 in cash belonging to the youth shooting team. Anyone with information is asked to call the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office at 931-484-6176. A Knoxville woman is begging for a thief to return her mother's ashes. Jeanette Swick says someone broke into her car in North Knoxville this week and stole jewelry, clothes, tools, along with a box with her mother's ashes inside. Swick says uh, the other items can be replaced, but she's asking the thief or anyone who knows anything about this to please return the ashes. Drop them off at my address. I don't even care. Then you don't even have to knock on the door. I just drop them there or put them on the back of my trunk. Just leave them. I just want my ashes back. Now, if you have any information, you are urged to call Knoxville Police. The phone number is 865-215-7212. Tom, right now it is 435. Let's get you up to speed on the forecast. I want to check back in with Julia Johnson. All good. All I like that. good as we I start like the day that. today, Julia. It is great. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to see pretty nice conditions out there. Not only that, but it is warming up. I know this was a little warm yesterday, but we just keep on taking off each day. And as we're heading into the weekend, it's going to be fantastic. Here's Storm Tracker. You know what? It looks really good. We're seeing dry conditions out there. It's going to be dry for pretty much the entire day. We'll see a couple little showers developing overnight tonight, but that's about it. West Knoxville looks good. Dry conditions there. We don't have a lot of fog this morning. And you know what? It is very warm this morning, especially compared to where we've been most of the week. We are at 60 degrees in Knoxville, 58 degrees in Clinton. It's 57 in Crossville, 56 in Wartburg, 62 in Middlesbrough. Now there is a cold pocket of air up toward the Tri-Cities and you can see it. Just kind of a cold pocket trap there. It's 47 degrees in the Tri-Cities, 45 in Rogersville, and that stretches down to Hartford and Morristown in the upper 40s as well. But the rest of us with that warm air and that warm air is going to be moving in for everyone as we continue through the morning hours and especially through the afternoon hours as well. So a very, very nice start to the morning. Warm conditions, dry conditions, and again, not a lot of fog. Looking at the rest of the day, we heat up very fast. We're going to be at 68 degrees at lunchtime, 75 this afternoon, partly cloudy today, but a couple of stray showers return overnight tonight. Bowen Tearson. All right, thank you, Julia. A woman doing a TV interview about crime becomes a crime victim herself on camera. We're going to show you what happened and how the reporter sprang into action. That is straight ahead. Plus, the man responsible for that deadly daycare car crash in Florida turns himself in. Details on the man now behind bars coming up. You're watching Good Morning Tennessee. It is 437.